super application programming interface where different different interfaces and all everything can be incorporated with them means otherwise see for example i'll i'll give you an example to you right there is a web service which has to be written in back the example i'll give you so that you will be understood well earlier if you can closely see when we are talking about the social networking website something like for every network in the beginning days i am saying right right not in the not in present conditions if you can see earlier days right so if you can see olden days whatever the transactions or whatever the registrations you want to do for that particular social networking website you have to sign up right you have to sign up there and you have to create your username and password so whenever you want to do the transaction at all you have to use the same user id password for the transaction for the uses purpose but now the situation has changed in such a way if you have a gmail account whatever the social networking website you want to use we are allowed and eligible to access it right for example if you want to operate your linkedin account if you have a gmail account that is sufficient if you have a facebook if you have a uh, proper uh, gmail account of yourself and all that so facebook operation can be done so even whatever the social networking websites are we operating nowadays everything is being connecting to gmail right so means whatever the gmail login credentials these gmail login credentials are being accepted by the social networking websites how that is where generally this api integrations and all everything happens through application programming interfaces where people will write some web services right so this is where the concept called of web services and all everything comes into picture using these web services and all whatever the integrations and all everything they can do and they can incorporate with the payment gateway methods whatever they have and all everything so using this payment gateway instructions and all so they can connect directly to the uh, directly to the um, payment partners and all that at the same time these things and all everything will be connecting to the merchant bank account directly so there is a third party transactions which is happening something like paypal the best example i can say if you can say paypal so paypal is a third party person where he'll be taking uh, transactions and all everything from the both parties and whatever the transactions and all sender and receiver uh, this third party uh, paypal and all everything as working as a third party interface to them right so because uh, they they receive amounts and uh, they do all the transactions on that the same way whenever we talking about this payment gateway partners and all that so there are some financial institutions what are the financial institutions and all that so there must be some partnering of payment gateway methods which are something acceptable and important which has to be done here so unless until if you are not doing any kind of transactions what are we doing for what we are planning for so making all these transactions will become uh, will become more uh, difficult for us to manage all that because there are some in this payment network when we talk about the payment network and all that so there are a lot of things which are involved in it, right so when you when you can take uh, this uh, process into an account there are different different connectivities will be there so which are as follows i'm just uh, the payment process life cycle steps i'm writing here so that we will be knowing about more clear right so when we are talking about payment process life cycle right when we talk about payment process life cycle where customer is connecting to a merchant's terminal customer is connecting to merchants terminal so for what reason this merchant terminal is he connecting with because merchant and merchant terminal he is connecting because he wants to do some transactions for that right so normally this merchant again this merchant terminal will be connecting to the acquiring bank 
whatever the acquiring bank we have and all everything in reference to the merchant uh, merchant acquiring uh, bank and all that so those will be so there will be a two different things what is acquiring bank from the perspective of a customer acquiring bank from the perspective of a customer right so there will be two different things will be there so merchant terminal where it is being connecting to the acquiring bank through this acquiring bank through this acquiring bank it is connecting to the card network so whatever the card network i mentioned so far right so because uh, last time if you observe like i have told you about the card networks like right? visa net master cards all that different different card networks and all that so whichever the card network people are using means customer is using the card network will be connecting with them so these through this card network again this will get connecting to the issuing bank right whatever the because whichever the bank card they are using and all they have to have a proper connect with that bank itself properly because for example card network is visa where the bank is some something like indusind bank right so you we need to connect to the indusind bank network through this card network to the account to the card network so that whether if he is having a sufficient amount of money right so for example if it's a credit card there will be of no problem based upon the credit limit this can be done but whereas when you talking about the debit cards the problem here is that there must be sufficient amount of money which should be available in his account customer's account then only this transactions and all everything will become successful otherwise it will become a failure hence there is a possibility that whatever the card network we are issuing and all that this card network must be connecting to the issuing of the bank whatever the issuing of the bank the card issued and all everything that will be connecting to that from their issuing of the bank again again it will be connecting to the card network again right so card network through card network issuing bank network so through issuing bank again we have to connect to the card network using whatever the card network is being used by the uh, merchant uh, transactions because they may be using the same right so if it is visa to visa it will be more easier if it is visa to mastercard or mastercard to visa all these and all everything takes time for them to uh, reinitiate the process and all everything then Hence, there is a proper connectivity with this card network in connection to the acquiring bank so this acquiring remember this this acquiring bank must be belongs to the merchant the reason why this acquiring bank is being connecting to the merchant terminals right so this acquiring banks and all everything will be connecting to the merchant terminals so this merchant terminal so here merchant terminal is having a uh, merchant terminal will get uh, will get a <coughs> confirmation whether this transaction is successful or not right whether this transaction is successful or not usually this merchant terminal will give you the confirmation so based on that if because there are two conditions if s means if it is got succeeded and all that customer will get receive if no transaction it will be shown as 